January Russia's weapons manufacturers showed off the upgraded T-160 strategic bomber to the country's president, Vladimir Putin. But the headline of the day wasn't the maiden flight of the White Swan, as pilots called the aircraft, but Putin's wish to develop a supersonic civilian plane based on T-160 tech. The head of the United Aircraft Corporation, Yuri Slizer, says his company has already created a blueprint for such an aircraft and that aspects of the new bomber could be incorporated into the plans. The T-160 is the most powerful supersonic bomber and missile platform in the history of Russian military aviation. According to Putin, Russia will make 10 T-160s costing about $267 million each in the near future. Military experts say the planes will be used not only in a deterrent role but also for the defense ministry's other day-to-day -day operations. TASS military analyst Viktor Litovkin told Russia Beyond. The missile platform highlights the bomber's capacity to carry both nuclear and non-nuclear cruise missiles, including new generation KH-101 and KH-555 long-range cruise missiles. According to Litovkin, the aircraft will also be capable of carrying KH-55 SM cruise missiles with coordinates preset to hit targets at designated locations. The expert added the T-160 can be equipped with any type of nuclear or conventional bombs including armor piercing, concrete piercing and cluster bombs, naval mines and so on. The combined weight of these warheads can be up to 40 tons. T-160 can also carry up to 150 passengers but the public will have to wait at least a couple of years before the plane's civilian prototype. In the Soviet period the country's aircraft fleet already had a similar supersonic airliner, the Tu-144. However as Professor Vadim Kozy Yulin from the Academy of Military Sciences told Russia Beyond, this strategic bomber converted for the civilian market is completely unsuitable for carrying passengers. Kozy Yulin added, the Tu-144 was very expensive to run, it needed special runways to be built and its servicing and fuel consumption cost the state a pretty penny. These expenses had to be compensated by the price of the ticket, which was on a par with a monthly salary of the average Soviet citizen. Only 10 to 15 of the new planes are expected to be made if the prototypes are successful, you'll need to splash the cash as well if you want a ticket. It will take seven or eight years to develop an aircraft based on the T-160. It is possible to use some elements of the T-160 to develop the new airliner, the fuselage or engines, but the interior of the aircraft will have to be completely different.